So guys, for the first step, we're gonna head over to search and type in view network connections. Click on it. Once we're on this, we're gonna click on our network connection. It might either be Ethernet or Wi-Fi. No matter which one you have, you wanna click on it. And then click on properties. And then you wanna click on internet protocol version four. And then you wanna make sure that use the following DNS server address has been ticked. And you wanna make the first line 8888. And you wanna make the second line 8844. And then click on okay. For the next step, we're gonna head over to search and type in CMD. Then we're gonna run it as administrator. And then click on yes. Once we're on this, we're gonna type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS and click on enter. Then we're gonna type in ipconfig space forward slash renew and click on enter again. For the next step, you wanna head over to your web browser and then you wanna click on the three dots in the top right and then head over to history. And then click on the three dots again and then you wanna open up the history page. Once we're on this, we're gonna click on clear browsing data. Then you wanna select the time range as all time and you wanna make sure that cached images and files and cookies and other site data have both been ticked and then click on clear now. For the next step, we're gonna head over to search and type in troubleshoot settings, click on it. Once you're on this, we're gonna click on other troubleshooters and then you wanna run the network and internet troubleshooter, click on run. And then if you have any problems with your internet connection, then it will fix it for you. Once you complete all the steps in this video, you wanna restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.